Hello, welcome to the show. And this is the last of our game farm shows. So the last of our game shows. Not to say that I'm not going to be using game down the track, but uh, of the beautiful projects that Game Farm sent me, this is the last of those shows. Today we're going to be working with spatchcock. Now spatchcock's just like a tiny chicken, really. And, uh, and it is just beautiful flavor. Uh, and it doesn't take a long time to cook and you can do almost anything with it just as you can with other poultry uh, and what we're going to be doing today this is a really simple dish and uh, and I'm, I'm going to it's, it's actually one out of the game farm book actually but I've adapted a little bit uh, differently the reason I've done that is because I've just also taken delivery of these beautiful honeys now I'm going to hold that one up to my camera so you can actually see it this one is honey and chili which is quite unusual I have to say and uh, this has come from a company called Highland Honey and they do uh, oils, infused oils and infused honeys and they do all sorts of amazing flavours. I'm going to list them uh, at the bottom of the video so that you know but we're going to be using some of this with chilli in it today and I'm going to be mixing it with some five spice, some salt and uh, a little bit of garlic and we're going to have some oil with that as well and we're going to use it as a, a sort of a marinade and a baste for the um, for the beautiful spatchcock that we're working with. All right, so the ingredients that we've got is our Highland honey, okay, so we're going to be using that, the chilli one. I did ask for the mild because I didn't necessarily want it to burn my mouth out. Not that it, not it necessarily will, but I wanted to make sure that it didn't. Um, our spatchcock, some fresh bok choy, which I've already prepared, some five spice, some garlic that's been minced, flaked salt, uh, a little bit of uh, rice bran oil, uh, I'm working with this, you could use olive I'm sure, but it's got an Asian sort of tinge to it, so that's the reason why I've gone down that route. And some chicken stock, which is what we're going to braise our bok choy in. That's going to be braised and then the whole lot will be served um, as a main course. And I would probably have other vegetables with it as well, but that's how I'm going to serve it today. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a jar and I'm going to mix the ingredients in the jar and then we're going to use it in a baking dish and we're going to just spread it over the top, drizzle it over the top of our spatchcock that's going to go into the oven and, uh, and that's going to bake for around about 40 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes. And during that time I will continually baste it using a turkey baster so that we get the juices running over the top and it gives it a lovely flavour and also a, a golden colour in there. So we're going to start off by putting in our Chinese five spice, the salt and the garlic. And into that I'm also going to add my oil and we're going to do the honey. Now I'll just move this out of the road for a moment so I can grab a little bit of this honey. This is going to give it some uh, incredible flavour. It's also going to help it to stick to the spatchcock as well. You can see those lovely pieces of chilli mixed through there. It smells amazing. I, uh, I haven't eaten it just on its own but I have made this before and, uh, and it comes out just beautifully. We want to have a reasonable amount in there as well so I'm putting three fairly heaped teaspoons in. And we're just going to shake that all up together so that it, it mixes really well. All right, so just taking a, a baking dish and we're going to pop our spatchcock into the baking dish. Into the center and literally drizzle over our coating. A lot of it will go down over the sides and just sit in the bottom of the dish. That's fine because it will thin out in the oven and then we will just continue to baste it over the top. You can either use a pastry brush or you can use a turkey baster. So make sure you coat the whole amount. Ooh, some of our honey there didn't quite mix in. That's okay. We'll just mix it into the base so we can use it to baste with later. Gorgeous. Okay, so that goes into the oven for about 45 minutes and while that's cooking we will prepare our bok choy but right near the very end. So while we're waiting for our spatchcock to cook I thought I would show you how to do the bok choy. Now this is just a braise and a braise is usually done in a braising pan or a saute pan which is what I'm using today and we're going to braise it just in a little bit of chicken stock. Now you can just do it in water, you can steam the bok choy if you like, you can even stir fry it in a little bit of oil if you prefer to do that. This just works quite nicely and it balances out I think the uh, spatchcock just beautifully. 
So all we're doing is heating up our pan. I might just bring it up to a little bit higher. And we're going to add our stock in there and just bring it up to the boil. Now you don't need very much and you can use packaged, uh, packaged rather, or you can use uh, fresh chicken stock. That's totally up to you. You can also add a, a little bit of um, oil to that pan if you want, or you can actually add a little bit of uh, soy sauce or any of those other Asian style sauces work very, very well too. So once it comes up to almost to the boil and it's very, very fast, I'm using induction, all we're going to do is just put our bok choy into there and just keep it moving. It will actually wilt quite quickly. That's as quick as it is. It, it takes that amount of time. It's a very, very short space of time. So all we would do then is serve that up onto a plate and our uh, spatchcock will go on top of it. So our spatchcock is now cooked and what we're going to do is just serve it up. So let's have a look at it. Well, I have already served up our spatchcock. It's out of the oven and uh, it looks absolutely delicious. I am sure it will go down very, very well. What I've done is just served it in a, a plate, a similar, a simple plate, rather than a flat plate because we've got some juice there. Remember we actually cooked our bok choy in some stock and I've drizzled that around the outside so we've got a bit of broth happening there as well. And you can see by um, the colour that's on here that that glaze that we put on has really given it an absolutely beautiful colour and the flavour I think is going to be just divine. So I hope you enjoyed today's show. If you manage to get hold of some game, you might like to try this particular recipe. You can also visit highlandhoney.com.au and get hold of some of that chilli honey plus lots of other flavours that they do with the infused honey and the olive oils. And Game Farm is available in most supermarkets um, and there'll be different products in each of the different supermarkets. So uh, depending on where you live, it'll uh, depend on the availability there. But you can usually get hold of the main things such as spatchcock, quail and duck at least. I hope you've enjoyed the Game Farm shows that we've done over the last few weeks. And, um, and if you have any questions about cooking game, please don't hesitate to contact me. I'd also love to connect with you on Facebook and Twitter. And I'd love for you to come back to the website, blackbookcooking.com. That's where all the other videos and the skills and techniques are. And uh, on the majority of the recipes as well. On Kitchen Girl here, we just uh, connect through to them. So uh, thanks again for your company. I really appreciate you stopping by and, and watching the show. I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon on the videos. I'm Victoria Hanson. Thank you.